hello everyone again. I'm here at the door of the uh, Saudi uh, embassy in Ottawa. Uh, I'm just uh, delivering the letter after I read it uh, the previous uh, video. And here at the door of the uh, guards, I'm just gonna knocking or calling here. There's someone here inside. Just gonna wait for him. There's someone here inside, I can see him. But he is not uh, answering yet. I don't know why. So again, I'm here at the door of the Saudi uh, embassy, I uh, wanted to deliver a letter to the ambassador regarding uh, the UN a decision uh, of picking the Saudi Arabia to, the, to be the uh, Women Rights uh, Commission. I'm, I'm, there you go, I'm buzzing, at the, buzzing, buzz, buzz, buzz. And the guard, he's sitting there and he is not opening the door. I don't know why, I just want to deliver a letter. Maybe he's, I don't know, just gonna, sorry, I just wanna, Excuse me. I wanna deliver a letter to the guard. Okay. Why? Uh, sorry, because I just I wanna, be no, no, it's okay, I just wanna, yeah, I do. I just wanna deliver a, a letter to him, that's all. Okay, we should be smart. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry. Yeah. Public space. That's yes. not, but I, no, you're not going to be in the camera. Don't put her in the camera. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, stop it. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's the letter, sorry? It's just reg it's regarding to the UN decision. I read okay. it uh, a few minutes uh, before. Okay. We already informed the filming? police. Thank you. Yes, but I am not a public sidewalk. Okay, I just want to okay, deliver this and that's all. And I will leave. Okay, just come this way. And yeah, that. sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just to deliver a letter. I want to deliver the letter no matter what. I'm not going to stop. No. So, they got the security for us. Just we want to deliver a piece of envelope. That's all. There you go. Nothing really serious. We're not gonna do anything to harm nobody. We are uh, practicing our freedom of speech and we need to stand for each and every woman who's been tortured and yet still torturing in Canada. And in Saudi, sorry, in Saudi Arabia. Well, here you go, I'm being Oh, yeah. the guard. Yeah. I was at the wrong uh, window. Yeah, we were at the wrong window. That's the right window. Sorry, I'm sorry for that. That's okay. Just wait right here. Okay? Yeah, sure. No problem. I'm sorry. I thought like that the other window. No. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Oh, did you give him? Did he give him my ID? Yeah, he's gonna bring it right back to you. Who? I, I mean, who who took the ID? The other police. But they, are they giving it to the security of the embassy? Yeah, and then they'll give it right back to you. Okay. Okay. So by why they want to look at my ID, the embassy? I don't mind the That's police. The oh, okay. There you go, the embassy. I just want to give them the envelope. That's all, sir. Yeah, I know. I understand. We're just talking to the head of Saudi security right now. We just have to wait to uh, see if they accept it. Okay. I just want to give him the envelope. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Could be rain. Could be water. Or snow even. Snow even like it was, right? And it snows a lot here. So we're here guys at the Saudi Embassy and the security guards are standing at the gate to make sure they check my ID and uh, they uh, wanted to make sure they gonna accept me to deliver them a letter and that's all about it it's just a letter 
It's just a letter. Maybe they're threatened by very small women. Well, maybe I'm, uh, I'm small in the size, but I'm affecting a lot. <laughs> It's about delivering a letter to Saudi Embassy um, regarding to the UN decision of pick Saudi Arabia to be the Women Rights Commission. So how stupid is that? And we got women being lashed, women being uh, raped, women being forced to wear the niqab and the hijab girls being married off as young as nine years old, eight years old in Saudi Arabia. Girls, they practice on them the FGM. Women being ex executed. Lots, a lots of girls and women in jail because under the Saudi, you know, what they do now, if, if a girl wanted to escape uh, the house, they put them in jail for the rest of their life. And here you go. I'm in Canada, just wanted to deliver a small letter to oppose all these barbaric savages' actions toward women. And yet the UN picked them for women's rights. What a corruption. The UN must go. We need to expose the UN for their, for their decision. We need to expose the UN. The UN lost their credibility. The UN lost their credibility. We, I hold every woman, a true feminist, to stand together for all girls and to do whatever you can do. The, be the voice of the voiceless. I am here at the door of the embassy to deliver a letter to the ambassador and yet they're making all this big fuss. And I'm standing here Nothing in my hand, only my phone and this small envelope. There you go. This is just a small envelope here. A letter to the ambassador to tell him who I am as an ex-Muslim who lived in Saudi Arabia and I have first-hand experience living under Sharia law. Barbaric savages, Sharia law. Came from the 7th century from a psychopath called Muhammad, the founder of Islam, the first experience under Sharia law, first-hand experience, and yet, and yet the UN decide to be Saudi Arabia, to be the women rights. Here you go. What women rights? What's the women right in Saudi Arabia? Nothing. Zero. Women consider second-class citizen. Till today, the women in Saudi Arabia, they cannot even drive a car. Till today, women in Saudi Arabia, they have to have a guardian, a man taking control of her life. And here you go, we got the bullies as well. Sorry? Okay, I'm just delivering a letter, sir. Yeah, okay, I'm waiting for them to give me the answer. So you want me to cross the street? I thought I can just give it to the. Okay, I, don't argue. Uh, don't argue with them. Cool. Okay. They're being very good. Yes, that. yes, yes, yeah, I know, I know. Thank you, no problem. I will. Here you go. The police came and asked me to uh, move. Our, how long do you think it will take, sir? Sir? How long do you they think it will ID? take? They got my ID, okay. No problem, no problem. We're here in peace and we just want to deliver the envelope and leave in peace. That's all. Tell the cop that they have your ID. Yeah, the cop. Yeah, he has his my, my ID. Well, tell him. Tell him. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that they have my ID. That's... Yeah. Okay, here you go, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I delivering a letter or am I delivering... Yeah, no, what am, I, what am I delivering? Uh, pizza, pizza? <laughs> what if I'm delivering a pizza? I think the pizza will let them in faster. Of course. Especially, uh, yeah, as long as it doesn't have uh, pork because it's not halal. There you go. I cross the streets just because I want to.
be cooperative with the police. I don't wanna, the police is very good. I don't wanna give them hard time. Again, guys, I'm here at the embassy of uh, Saudi Arabia, number one country in the world against women rights. And yet the UN decide that uh, Saudi Arabia to be the women rights women right commissioner and how this decision and need to be taken serious consideration to expose the UN to expose the corruption to expose the control of the the petro dollars and who, who's gonna suffer who is gonna suffer? Women! Women are the most suffered people, human being in Saudi Arabia. Tell me about women's rights in Saudi Arabia. I need to know what's the women's rights in Saudi Arabia. Nothing. Zero. No freedom of speech. Considered second class citizen. They're not allowed to choose whatever they want to wear. They're not allowed to choose their lifestyle. They're not allowed to drive a car. They're not allowed. They've been forced into marriage. If they got raped, they will be lashed or even executed. And Do they have your ID? Yes. Yes, wait, it's okay. Just don't go. I gotta go for my kids. Sorry. You okay? Oh my God, all this just because I want to deliver a letter. Just a letter, Ambassador. Just a letter, Saudi Arabia. Jesus Christ. I'm insisting to deliver my letter to the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia. And yet, they're giving us this hard time. All this security, the police, they're stopping us at the guard, at the, the, the front door whatever they took my id and they still they still the, the i think they want to check all my past or my future all my present all no, what the heck they gonna check they just want to give you a hard time uh, yeah that's exactly they just want to give us hard time there you go there you go this the saudi ambassador the saudi government Shaking just because I'm delivering a letter, huh? No. Oh yeah, I have it. Sir, come. You do have it? Yes. Oh no. I want to deliver the letter. Wow, they're doing. All day and keep okay. There the you go, guys. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. What? Don't, 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 don't. What are you doing? Okay, here you go, guys. They refuse. To take the letter, but just they a letter. Take your ID. Oh, yeah. But they, they take my ID and they give it back. So, anyway, maybe I can send them the video. <laughs> I read the letter anyway. <laughs> they get okay. Listen, listen. They watch my video dancing on the Saudi flag, right? right? How do you know? So they, the ambassador, he spoke about it oh, in Arabic. Know. No, I know. He saw the he saw the video. And he spoke about it. That's why I wanted to tell him why I dance on the Saudi flag. Right. Because I experienced my freedom in Canada. We are free to express our feeling and to stand against all evil, barbaric 
ideology who oppressed women and you don't want me to dance on Saudi flag, I'll freaking dance. I'll freaking dance. Tap dance. I'll dance. Tap dance. Every way of dancing, belly dancing, <laughs> whatever dancing. Break dancing. I'm not afraid. And here you go. I came to the, uh, at the door, where's the ambassador? To tell him that I'm not afraid and I don't mean to uh, cause uh, like the, they, they gone outrage uh, more about it like in Saudi Arabia but the reason they don't know I, I, I dance on the Saudi flag because of every single uh, blood dropped from every girl who been murdered or he been or she's been forced into child marriage and raped until death for every girl who they practice on her the FGM for every girl who's been persecuted in jail or being flogged or being executed so we need to stand not just the Saudi flag and every ideology and every culture around the world we're not gonna tolerate it because they're not deserve to be tolerated i'm not gonna tolerate the ideology that call for the death of women and treat women as a second class and yet he refused to the letter is still in my hand they refused to take it i just want to show you guys i came at the door of the embassy and they got all this uh, security and all this and they stopped us and they li didn't let us to they refused to take the letter but anyway I'm sure they are gonna watch me I'm sure they're gonna watch this video as they are watching every single video I make so and that's my letter to you the Saudi ambassador I am Sandra Solomon and I'm standing against the UN decision that they choose your country, not my country, okay, to be a woman right uh, commissioner. And I wish, I wish, okay, I wish, that's my message to you, the Saudi ambassador. If you have the guts to meet with me and to talk to me and to prove to me that Saudi Arabia deserved this uh, decision, the UN decision. Prove it. Prove it. Give the women the freedom. Let them take off the hijab and the top if they want to. Stop the child marriage. Stop the FGM. Stop the women being lashed and being flogged just because they're being raped. Stop and give the women in Saudi Arabia the right to drive the car and give the women the rights in Saudi Arabia to be their own decision. They don't need a guardian. They don't need a male to take in control of their life. Prove it. Prove the UN decision. Give the women rights. Give them the right to speak. Give them the right for freedom of speech to criticize you and to criticize Sharia law and to criticize Islam and to criticize Muhammad, the leader of all terrorists, the founder of Islam, who had sex with nine years old baby at age of 53 years old. That's who you following. That's who you taking as a role model, okay, for your country, so-called Saudi Arabia. I'm not against majority Saudi people are nice people and majority Saudi people, innocent people. And I know that there's many girls and many women are suffering in Saudi Arabia and waiting for the moment they can break, break through from all this oppression. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We did not deliver the letter, but I'm sure they're gonna watch the videos as they watch all the time. Keep exposing Islam and don't forget, help the cause at www.voiceofsandrasolomon.com. And here you go, the Saudi embassy behind me. The Saudi embassy behind me. There you go. I'm in Ottawa. I came here today to express my feeling and I will keep continue doing it. And I'm not gonna be afraid no matter what. And we will stand on guard for thee, we will stand on guard for Canada and this 
ideology that creeping in our schools, that creeping in our streets, and many books that they deliver it in uh, Toronto and Dundas and Young coming from Saudi Arabia, so-called authors, the Islamic authors. We need to expose it. I read the letter in another video, you can uh, watch it, and I will uh, share it everywhere. And here you go, guys. The Saudi embassy, and uh, what has been written on the Saudi flag, and you can see the sword. That's the sword of Muhammad, the leader of all terrorists, okay? It says, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad his messenger. That's what's been written, the Islamic Shahada, okay? The, the flag of Islam, that's the flag of Islam, okay? So, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be uh, silent about the UN decision against every true feminist in the world. And if you are a true feminist and you really care for the women rights, speak against the UN decision. And for you, UN, you must go. You lose your credibility. I don't trust the UN at all. Okay? God bless you all, guys. And don't forget www.voiceofsandrasolomon.com. Help the cause. I'm going my tour soon to expose Islam across Canada. And we'll keep going to continue fighting the 7th century barbaric savages ideology. God bless you all.